Hey everybody and welcome back again. Thank you for the comments on my last video. Um, it is a contentious topic. I, I fully understand um, vaccinations, pandemics, COVID um, mandates. Um, so I really do appreciate your comments and I thank Thank you for um, just civilised discussion, which is fantastic, which we need more of, um, rather than uh, trying to force views upon each other. It's about finding the common ground and common understanding. So thank you for joining me. What I wanted to have a look at today, a um, little bit of a different topic here today, um, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Libby, Queen Lizzie, I don't know if I was named after the Queen, I have never asked, but is um, with the Libby, um, but she recently celebrated her 70th year of reigning as the monarch of the United Kingdom and uh, all its uh, Commonwealth, the Commonwealth. So what I want to have a look at is, um, so she's well into her 90s, 95, 96 perhaps, 70 years of reigning as Queen. I have read before about who will um, uh, t take over after the Queen passes and the Queen will not, uh, what I have read is that the Queen will not um, uh, pass on the throne in, until her death. So she will not step aside. It will pass to Charles, but it will very quickly um, pass on to William, uh, the, the royal title. So I just want to have a quick look, first of all, at that to clarify, because things change over time as opinions change and and uh, uh, the, the energy of the earth changes, etc. So just very quickly. When Queen Elizabeth passes, will the throne rapidly pass to Queen of Cups? That's Queen Elizabeth to the T. Uh, emotionally stable. Um, in, she's a very intuitive person you'll notice in this deck that I'm using, which is my Gilded Tarot Royale. Uh, the cup has no lid on it. There, are, there is nothing to be revealed in this particular uh, cup. Um, they're not quite corgis, but little dogs at her feet. But this is Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, uh, emotionally stable, practical, a mentor, um, intuitive, rev um, revolutionary. And then we also have what fell out as the Knight of Cups. So this is a message being brought forward. Now he is a, a gentle knight, a, a controlled, gentle, tentative. He can be called the false knight on occasion, but not in regards to this. So my question was, and what I'm seeing is being the knight rather than the um, the king, I'm seeing this more as being William, but the question was, will the shortly after Queen Elizabeth passes, will the throne be part? Will William ascend the throne? Three of Swords, heartbreak, despair, interesting. That'll that'll be the passing. And then the Page of Cups. So um, what I'm getting here, okay, so what we've got here is we've got uh, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, Prince Charles, Disappointment, and then William. So I see it passing on very quickly. Um, what I have read in the past on this particular topic is that um, it's not that Charles is a disappointment. He just feels that his um, abilities can be better utilised for the sake of the uh, for the sake of the things that have he is passionate about, so um, uh, sustainable agriculture, uh, protecting the planet, uh, green energy, etc. He feels they can be better utilised um, 
without him being king. So yes, that's telling me it will pass on fairly quickly. Now, I just want to ask very quickly, will Queen Elizabeth's reign, I'm trying to think how to put this, um, just want to ask whether she, uh, 95, she's frail, beautiful, beautiful energies from her, but she is getting old. The love of her life and her rock passed away, Prince Philip, for all his failings. He was the person that she needed to pass through life with. Just tell me, will Queen Elizabeth, will Will the reigns of royalty be passed on in the near future? In the near future. In the, within the next six months. Will the reigns be passed on within the next six months? Two of, so what flung out at me, two of cups, which is about partnerships and relationships with the government. No, this is the um, royals, the monarchy, the monarchy, the relationship with the monarchy. Again, got the Knight of Cups, which is um, Charles, the Queen of Swords, And uh, the heartbreak. So what I am seeing here, burdensome. This is Charles finding it burdensome and retreating, passing it on to William. <clears throat> and this is William when he becomes king. So I am seeing within the next six months the baton will be passed. So, and it will be heartbreaking for a lot of the world um, but then the next question comes up what happens after that so the queen is amazing and I can almost I won't say I can visualize her ascension but it will be fabulous and the energy that she will take with her and uh, the lessons that she will bring into her next life around will be fabulous. So what I want to do is ask about, what I really wanted to ask about today was um, the Commonwealth. Whether the Commonwealth will break up after Australia, Canada, who else? There's an awful lot of them. Uh, will the Commonwealth break up after this? Australia and Canada are probably the two largest or most powerful on the world stage. So tell me, will Australia leave the monarchy, the Commonwealth, after the death of Queen Elizabeth? There's great respect for her. I know that not everybody likes the, the monarchy system, um, but we are all born into a family, whether it be a royalty family or a wealthy family or a poor family or a family of intellects or a family of uh, sports people or whatever we're all brought into a into a family and it is our destiny to muddle our way through <laughs> um, but Queen Elizabeth is very much loved in Australia but I want to ask once Queen Elizabeth passes will Australia leave the monarchy Okay, um, emotional loss. We will we we will feel it keenly with the nine of wands as well. So there will be new boundaries set. So yes, we will mourn what is lost, but we will set these new boundaries. Okay. What will happen is Australia will find itself um, feeling uh, held hostage, for want of a better word, uh, to Great Britain. 
The majority of our uh, population now does not come from British descendancy. Uh, we are a country of immigrants that come from all over the world. Um, and every religion, every culture is brought with it, which means we're a fabulous multicultural society. But we have um, feeling hostage. There will be choices that need to be made. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is about um, domestic security. So I see this as us um, reverting to uh, looking after Australia first, which indicates to me, yes, that we will put up the walls around Australia and uh, Australia will break away from the Commonwealth. They're fairly um, uh, non-violent cards, those. They're very um, calm cards. There was nothing terribly aggressive or untowards in them. I think it'll just be a very gentle um, process that Australia will move away to look after its own sovereignty first. Uh, and uh, after the uh, heartbreak and outpouring that that change will occur. So tell me for Canada. Whoops, Canada. Will Canada leave the Commonwealth after the death of Queen Elizabeth? Will Canada leave the Commonwealth? Interesting, Canada. It's part of the Commonwealth. Portions of French speaking. Very much attached <laughs> to the United States physically and, uh, and uh, financially. Well, can, oh, there is strength in, oh, they're falling out everywhere at me. There is strength in remaining as part of the Commonwealth, but I think what's happened is that organisations such as NATO and AUKUS, etc., have overtaken, and then I think the, the, in our neck of the woods we've got the, so the five powers, which is Australia, Japan, uh, Singapore, India, and there's one other, I think, or something like that, have formed an alliance as well. And then we have the um, Pan-Pacific Partnership. And so I think these alliances are actually uh, having more relevance than the historical Commonwealth. So we'll three clarifiers, three clarifiers, please. Will Canada... Oops, leave Commonwealth on the death of Queen Elizabeth. <clears throat> okay, interesting again. So the two signifier cards that threw out at me <clears throat> is the Queen of Wands and the World card. So um, this is on the world stage. Queen Elizabeth, she has been an inspiring, self-aware, confident figure. But Canada has also come into its own. Canada also realises that it is confident in who it is. And it is an, in, it is an inspiring country on the world stage with its, um, especially in contrast to some of what's going on in the United States, with its calm, measured approach, uh, its stable government, its... Um, uh, fair and democratic election processes, etc. <clears throat> and can Canadians are very much like Australians. I mean, we live in the heat and you live in the cold, but um, it's very much um, a like-minded uh, like countries where we do welcome people who, um, before we used to, our government needs to pull its act together, but we are welcoming countries countries, we go with the flow, we know what's important, uh, we listen to science usually, and we stand up for what we believe is right. So um, yes, I think this is this is telling me Canada moving forward steadily, diligently, reliably, under the guidance of the King of Cups, who is um, diplomat, calm, emotionally balanced leader. And it will be reviewed 
Washington than we have a New Beginning. So I'm seeing for Canada also, maybe not as quickly as Australia. I think what when and again we've got the setting up of boundaries at the base of the pack. Um, not as quickly as Australia, I don't think. What they're going to do is watch what happens with Australia. Uh, we do on occasion tend to be probably possibly a little bit more fiery. <coughs> but um, excuse me, a bit of a frog in my throat. But I think Canada will watch what happens with Australia and then it will slowly move towards being a republic for itself as well. <clears throat> okay, I don't know that I actually had any more questions in regards to that. Um, all I can do is just give my admiration for the reign of Queen Elizabeth uh, as we move into a new era. A lot of respect. And uh, be interesting to see where we go from now. Okay, love to you all. Quick reading today. Take care, stay safe, stay strong, stay opinionated, and let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Catch you later. Bye bye.